to get started with the setup, the first thing you need to do is you have to go to setup and business units. Now once you come into this function, go ahead and hit search and your main business should populate for you. Go ahead and double click into the main business unit and this is where you enter all your general information regarding your company. So you would go ahead and enter your business name, your company name, the address. You can skip the city and state. Go and enter the postal code, the zip code, and once you click this binoculars, the city, state, and the country will automatically populate for you. Once that is finished, go ahead and enter your company phone number and your fax number. Going to the next tab, the additional tab, in here is where you would enter your company website, your URL. Below that is where you would enter your tax ID. And down below where you see the payments term, you can go ahead and select the drop down and select the payment term that you will be using. Go into the next tab, the preferences tab. At the top portion, you will see jobs due in. The system will automatically calculate how many days your jobs will be due in after you schedule the job, depending on the number of days you set here. Below that is the late charges. If you will be incurring late charges for your clients, go and enter the number of days when you will start incurring the late charges so the system will automatically calculate that for you. Below is your pages to deduct. If you are deducting any pages from the transcript, go ahead and enter the number of pages in here so that the system will automatically deduct that for you. Now below, you're going to see a few boxes with a few options. The first one says print name and address on invoices. If you would like to print your company name and the address on the invoice, go ahead and check this box. If you would like to print your company name and address on the statement, go ahead and check the box below. Below that, you're going to see do not show number of units when it is one. This is for when you're billing out service items and you're just billing one service item. If you do not want to show that it is one service item, go ahead and check this box and then that one unit will not show when you're billing out for that one particular service item. The show rate per unit when detailed. This will show all your service items when you turn on the details for your invoices as long as this is checked. You're going to want to go ahead and select the apply cutoff payments for your invoices. The pre-printed invoices and pre-printed statements. Um, you would only want to select those two boxes if you automatically have a designated piece of paper for your invoice and statements. If you do not, the system will automatically generate an invoice and statement for you from the RB8 system. Going to the next tab, the accounts tab. Just make sure that in this accounts tab, you have all your accounts matching with its designated number below. So let's go ahead and get these matched up for you guys real quick. Come back and change this to refund. Okay. The next tab is your logo image tab. In here, you would want to upload your company logo so that it will appear on your invoices and statements. All you have to do is click on this upload image link and you're going to have to select where your logo is. Select it and open it and it will save into here. The last tab is for your PDF transcripts. If you want to upload a logo to appear on your PDF transcripts, go ahead and enter or upload the logo in here.